Hey guys, today we're going to be doing a couple upgrades to this MX991-U angle head flashlight. These flashlights were designed for the military back in 1963 as an upgrade for the old TL122 flashlight that was used in World War II. This one was made by Bright Star. Mine does not have a switch guard. So that dates it to before 1973. The yellow end caps signify that this was an industrial model. Inside the bottom end cap, we should have some light filters. Yeah. Well, it looks like they really wanted to make sure you had a red filter, because we got three of them. This is what I was hoping to find. This is the Fresnel or Fresnel lens filter. We'll test all of these out later. And then we got an opaque white filter. Interesting. The base is rattling. There's a spare bulb in there. Let's see if we can't fix that rattle. This guy is supposed to be clipped onto that metal piece here. At some point it must have fell out. Then I'll put some foam in the bottom so it won't come loose and rattle again. That rattling could give away our position on stealth missions. At least 10 or 15 years ago, I picked up these LED upgrade bulbs from Walmart. They were clearancing them out. These have a whopping 30 lumens. Yeah, there's just a single LED in there with a PR6 bulb style base. To replace the bulb, we'll remove the rings. The yellow one is for holding the filters on, and the other one holds the bulb assembly. Then we unscrew this little retainer ring, and the old bulb should just come right out. So here's the old bulb. It's a GE PR6. And then we'll put our new LED bulb in there and screw down the retainer. I do like on these how all the contacts are made out of solid copper. These were made to be pretty heavy duty for their day. The moment of truth. All right, it's a little bit brighter. Here's your before and after shot. It's not super bright, but at 30 lumens, this is about all you're going to get. Now, let's address the batteries. This runs off of D-cell batteries, but nobody keeps D-cell batteries around nowadays. We want AA. So I got these adapters from Amazon that let you put a AA battery inside and it makes it the same size as a D-cell. There is one caveat with these. On this style flashlight with the huge spring at the end, that spring isn't going to be able to make contact with the little AA battery. But there is a 25 cent fix for that. Literally. You, you just use a quarter. A 50 cent piece does fit a little better, but that would be twice as expensive. Now you're not going to get as much run time with double A's, but with that very low power LED bulb I put in, it shouldn't matter. You can even buy a module that lets you put an 18650 lithium cell in there, but I think that would be overkill for my situation. Now, let's check out some of those filter options. We'll start with the red filter. The red is supposed to help preserve your night vision, so it's not as jarring going from light to dark. They also had blue and green filters, but mine didn't come with any of those. Now we'll check out the opaque white filter. Yeah, this one you can't even tell that it's on. This would have been more for signaling, 
Like if you wanted to let someone know where you were without illuminating the whole area. And the Fresno lens. This is supposed to widen the beam pattern. This light generally has a spot type beam pattern. So with this lens, it spreads out the light a little bit. Not a whole lot though. I'm guessing the government spent like a million dollars designing this. Whatever. Anyway, I still think these lights are pretty cool. I want to keep this one for power failures. With that angle head, it won't roll off a table. And with that low lumen LED, it'll give just enough illumination to light up the room. You can actually still buy these flashlights. Fulton Industries, one of the original government contractors, continues to make them. I'm not sure who's buying them. Government contracts I can see, but is there some company out there that's just been refilling a 40-year-old purchase order every year and no one's questioned why they have an entire room filled with obsolete flashlights? Maybe there's some special certification that these have that other flashlights don't, and that's why they still make them? I don't know. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you'd like to see a full lore video on the history of these flashlights. I started digging into these, and there's probably enough history there to make a full video. Be sure to subscribe if you like this kind of content. See you later. Bye.